Hey folks, just wanted to do a quick video on the air mat that I took on the ptarmigan hunt this year. Uh, hunt got kind of canceled and we had to come back early. Uh, the dog and I were having some issues. We'll make another video on that. But uh, just an idea of the environment that we had this air mat in. It was 10 to 11,000 feet of elevation. Um, there was some snow. The uh, rest of the time it was rainy and just all around cold. But uh, I just want to make a video on some of the things I liked and did not like about it. So here is the air mat. All right, so that's the air mat that we took. It's the Kilo Skier. I believe it's out of New Zealand. Um, this is it rolled down. I'll show you what it looks like inflated here in a minute. But uh, just some of the, the key features about this. It's supposed to be very sturdy, very puncture resistant. It's supposed to be insulated. Um, supposed to be four inches thick. It has a pillow. Uh, it has little snaps on the sides. I don't know if I can, there's one right there. So if you have multiples, you can snap them together. I think like if you're sleeping on the back of a truck or something like that, that would be kind of cool. Um, I'm gonna imagine that if you're in a tent on the side of a hill and you're doing that deal where all your stuff starts like sliding to the corner of the tent, um, that would be a pain in the ass if you're like stuck together. Because if one person is sliding and the other person isn't, I'm guessing you're probably going to get pulled down with them. But uh, we'll show you this blown up here in just a second. All right, so this Kilo Skier Air Mat. One of the first selling points they give you is that it's puncture resistant. Yeah, I'll buy that. I had the dog in and out of the tent all weekend. Um, it was stormy weather. We didn't have anywhere to go. The only reprieve we had was in the tent. Um, like I said, we had snow. We we lived in Tent City for about two days straight and did fine. Dog can climb on it, bounce up and down, do whatever the hell it is she's going to do on it. Great. Um, it's long. It's comfortable. I can air it down. It's four in inches, maybe four and a half inches thick. I can air it down so that I can lay on my side and I don't get hot spots or uh, sore spots on my shoulders or my hips. That's a big issue with me. I'm 230 pounds. Generally, I'm taking two air mats. Uh, one of them to kind of get me up off the ground a little bit. I inflate that about three quarters of the way. The other one, I only inflate about halfway, and that's to kind of hug the curves a little bit on my hips and my shoulders so my shoulders aren't getting ground down onto a hard air mattress all night long. So that's that's a plus, it, having it thick enough that I can air it down. But the big problem that I had is when I'd air it down, as long as I wasn't moving, I'm off the ground. But if I go to sit up or anything, you know, your butt or your hips touch the ground. And uh, one of the issues that I had was it's not insulated. It says it is, but it is not insulated. Trust me. We were up in the snow. We were up over 10,000 feet of elevation. Um, when I say in the snow, it wasn't consistently below 30, but at night it got below 30. During the day it was below 30, but then it warmed up pretty quick during the day. So if you were getting this thinking it's going to be an insulated mat, even with my zero degree quilt, I was having some cold issues. So if you notice up there, it's square. So it is a square mat all the way down which means that I can't put that in my quilt. I can't slide it inside and use my quilt to keep it warm because the thing is like two and a half feet wide. I can't put it in my quilt. They need to cut the corners, kind of whoop, make that a little more rounded at the top. I don't need a square mat at the top of my head. Cut some weight there taper the bottom half that way you can fit it into your quilt and then maybe add some insulation that'd be great that way when I go to move around at night my butt doesn't touch the ground and then freeze out and if I did move it took about 20 minutes to warm everything back up again it is a cold cold mat don't buy this thinking it's insulated um, outside of that, I think it's great. It's thick enough for side sleepers. It's wide enough for, for people that want to spread out a little bit. Um, it's a cool mat. I think that we could shape it better. Uh, Kilo Skier could cut the corners off the top. They could taper down the bottom. Like I said, we'll lift this thing up. It's square all the way to the bottom. 
there's no reason to have a square mat at the bottom. I can't fit it in my quilt. I can't fit it in a sleeping bag, so I have to sleep on top of it. Not always the best way. Um, late spring, early summer, late summer, the moment you start getting into colder weather, put that mat away. Go get a better one. Um, outside of that, I think it's great. I don't know that I would say it's $100. It cost me $99, bucks, 98 bucks, something like that to order. Um, they're made out of New Zealand, so it takes a little bit to get here. I'm, I was disappointed at how cold it was. I would have liked to have somewhere warm to go at night after a hard day of hunting in the rain. But outside of that, yeah, if you're just uh, backpacking around for a weekend... Take it out all summer long. You could use it as an air mat in your tent. You could take it out on the lake. You can drag it through the rocks and the bushes. No problems. So I hope you guys enjoy. Um, if Keyless Gear watches this video, I would love to see some improvements. That's, that's my own two cents. So I'm signing off.